Okay, in this tutorial we'll be covering redox reactions and uh, how to assign oxidation states and also how to, if you're given a redox reaction, how to uh, determine which reactant is being reduced and which reactant is being oxidized. So this is our third type of reaction. There's precipitation, neutralization, and redox reactions. And that's pretty much it. Most of all reactions um, are one of those kind, one of, or one of those three. Okay, so the loss of electrons from one species to another is uh, is what happens in oxidation. Okay, and we say that species species meaning. Uh, it's kind of interchangeable with uh, reactant in this case. Okay, so the species that lost electrons increases in charge number. So um, that's uh, this is the background to that is uh, if you have uh, li well, li I don't know. Let's just take a really basic example: lithium. Okay, so lithium with no charge. Okay, and then it has uh, three protons and three electrons. One, two, three. Okay, if it happens to lose one of those electrons, then now we have three protons and two electrons. So we no longer have just Li. We have Li plus one. So it went from a zero, because nothing, if nothing's there, it means there's no charge. There's zero. So the protons equal the electrons. Okay, if we have lithium with a charge on it, then it has one more proton than it does electrons, hence the one plus charge. So <clears throat> that's why we say uh, it increases its charge number. So it was zero effort loss an electron. It's a plus one, so increased by one. Okay. Um, so this helps in the, the definition because a reduction is actually a gain of electrons. And the reason is, the reason why it's called reduction is because the oxidation number, the actual charge number, gets reduced. So for example, fluorine, um, uncharged is 9 protons. I'll just write 9p, okay? And then it has 9 electrons. Okay, uh, on the first ring would be 2, and on the subsequent ring it would be 7, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 2 on that first ring. Okay, now if you have F minus, that means it gained an electron, so that would be still 9 protons, 2, and then it would have 8 instead of 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what happened is it went from 0 to a minus 1. So we say the oxidation number or the charge number uh, was reduced. It went from 0 to a negative 1. So we say it's reduced. So the uh, so that's where it's kind of it's weird because a reduction is gain. It seems uh, um, that doesn't make, I mean, that doesn't make any sense in the English sense if you just think of the words. But what it's talking about is the actual charge number going from 0 to a minus 1. So we say it got the fluorine was reduced because the charge number got reduced. But what actually happened to cause it to be reduced is it gained an extra electron. Okay, And then the electrons are negative, so it reduced the uh, charge number from 0 to negative 1. Okay, so... Um, uh, important description on the term, so it kind of helps you helps your mind rest at ease that um, it's this is not this is it's just pure you know it's just logical from the from a chemistry standpoint. Okay, so th these are the some background. Okay, so whenever this is like this is like the hallmark thing in a uh, redox reaction is whenever a species is oxidized. So whenever something lost an electron. That means it's it's uh it's in combination with something that likes electrons. So oxidation necessarily it, it means that um oxidation means 
if something gets oxidized, it lost electrons, so that means it doesn't really like electrons. It likes to lose them, and it will always be paired with something that likes to gain them. Okay, this is chemistry. This is how things interact. Something likes it, something doesn't like it. They interact. So it's uh, the energetics of it are favorable for it to, for something new to happen okay so uh this so speed so things that that get reduced that tend to gain electrons they actually really like electrons okay and you'll see that this is an this is actually you know this is what happens in ionic bonding we have typically things that get oxidized are typically metals because they're on the left of the periodic table they're over here. So these guys like electrons. And then these guys, wait, now I'm confusing myself. Sorry. The, um, these guys, they, they don't like electrons. So how do I show that? Maybe a broken heart. Okay. These don't like electrons and these guys like electrons. Okay. The nonmetals. Okay, and so you'll see that these uh, coincide and make stable bonds. All right, so on to assigning oxidation states. Well, let's uh, get to where this is going here. Um, there's there's actually a uh, there's actually a mnemonic for this. Before we assign oxidation states, there's a mnemonic to remember this, and it goes like this. Uh, there's two mnemonics. There's the mnemonic oil rig. And what it stands for is oxidation. Oxidation is a loss of electrons, and reduction is a gain in electrons. Um, and there's another mnemonic, and it's a uh, Leo the Lion says Grr. So, well, I can't, I don't even know how these mnemonics, I don't use these myself. So, uh, Leo is, uh, what, okay, it's loss of electrons is ox oxidation, okay, and a gain in electrons is reduction, okay. Here's the one I use is uh, I always try to figure out the one that got oxidized and I go when when you say oxidize ox oxidation ah uh, oxidation you say you say the sound ah uh, and then it kind of makes you think of loss cuz loss you say ah uh, again okay so oxidation is loss and then if it wasn't oxidation, then the other one, and then the other one's easy because once you figure out this, then you know the other ones gets reduced. But that's that's what I use. Maybe that's my own thing. Okay, you could use Leo the Lion or Oil Rig. Um, you'll see what this is useful for at the end of the tutorial. Say why this is actually really useful. These mnemonics. So, all right. So uh, how to assign oxidation states? There are some rules for assigning oxidation states. Here they are. So. Um, ox, uh, oxygen is always um, a minus two. It's in six A, and six A has six valence. Two more to get an to get an octet, which is eight. So uh, so typically things that are in six A they make a two minus. So this is actually nothing new. Oxygen is always a minus two. Okay, there's an exception. And it rarely comes up, but I'll write it anyway, except peroxide. Um, peroxide is the polyatomic O2 with a 2 minus. So if there's two oxygens and overall the charge is a minus 2, that means each oxygen is a minus 1. Like I said, this uh, rarely comes up, but sometimes it does. Oxygen is a minus 1 in peroxide. 
Okay, the second rule, and these are in order of importance, like oxygen you'll find is everywhere. I mean, it's in Earth's atmosphere, so it winds up in lots and lots and lots of compounds. So that's rule number one. These are kind of like in order of importance or like uh, how often they come up, these rules. So hydrogen, and these rules will make a lot more sense when we start looking at some examples. Hydrogen is always a plus one. And this also is nothing new. Hydrogen is in 1A, and 1A makes plus ones. So the first two most important rules are actually nothing entirely new. OK, so rule three, another one that's not entirely new. Group 1A metals are always a plus one. OK, uh, rule four, free elements. Here's where things differ a little. Free elements are zero. The charge on them are is zero. So exam what's a free element? Example of free element. So if you see a, a redox reaction, uh, you know, reactants, arrow products, if you see a redox reaction, you'll have a, you'll you'll see free elements. Like they're not bound with anything. Okay, so I could add that, so not bound. Okay, and they're in elemental form, like pure, they're pure elemental form. Like pure iron, Fe, with all its electrons. This has a zero charge. Zinc, that hasn't lost any electrons yet, this is a zero charge. So nothing shows up, there's kind of like in math, if there's no exponent, then there's like a... Um, let's let's not bring math into this. Okay, so if there's O2, okay, then there's zero. There's a zero charge there. Okay, Cl2, elemental forms, a diatomic gas. Okay, there's no charge there. Okay, we'll see more examples as we start looking at these also. Okay, rule number five, halogens. are usually a minus one. The exception is uh, if I, I'll, uh, yeah, the exception is if uh, fluorine um, There, there is an exception. It hardly ever comes up. Um, but it, it goes like this. The exception is uh, if fluorine, it's a weird one. It hardly ever comes up. If fluorine is bound to another halogen, uh, said halogen is not minus one. Okay, it hardly ever comes up. Um, an example of that is like if you have ClF2, this gas, um, the, the fluorine would be assigned a minus one. Okay, and if there's two fluorines, that's overall a minus two. So this chlorine right here is actually a plus two. So this, this can happen. It's really rare, but it could happen. Okay, so how did I get this number? This is actually the last rule and the most important one. This is how you assign oxidation states is this rule. The sum of oxidation numbers of all atoms in the compound gives the net charge on the compound. Okay, example. Um, example. So let's say we have um, NO3 
3 minus 1. Okay, um, we apply rule number 1 here. So rule number 1 is oxygen is always a minus 2. So this each oxygen here has a minus 2 charge on it. So we there is no rule for nitrogen. So this is what we want to try to do is assign an oxidation state on this nitrogen. Okay, and we have to apply all these rules to do so. Okay, so if you have, um, you could actually set up like a little algebra problem and, say, and call the, the oxidation state on nitrogen, we could call it X. Okay, we're going to reread this. So the sum of oxidation numbers on all atoms in the compound gives the net charge. The net charge on this thing is a minus 1. So and it says the sum of all of them. Okay, so there's one nitrogen in the compound. So we'll say 1 times X, the sum of, plus there's three oxygens, and each one is a minus 2. So plus 3 times minus 2 equals negative 1 solve for X okay and then we could get the oxidation state of nitrogen so this is a minus 6 so we have X minus 6 equals negative 1 therefore X must equal positive 5 so the oxidation state on this nitrogen is a positive 5 okay so this there's a lot of information in this one sentence okay th this sentence here so, and the key to doing this was applying rule one. Okay. So now let's look at uh, some examples. It says assign oxidation numbers to the following compounds. Um, I'm going to do the first three, A, B, and C. Um, your guys' um, task is to try to do D, E, and F. So um, we have no rule for uh, sulfur, so we don't know what that is. We'll call it X. Okay, hydrogen, there's a rule for that, for this one. So hydrogen is always a plus one. So we go to this slide. So 2 times plus 1 plus X equals, and on this whole molecule, there's no charge, so equals 0. So we'll set the whole thing equal to 0. So the sulfur must be a minus 2. So that's the oxidation state of uh, sulfur. So sulfur is a minus 2. The hydrogen is a plus 1. OK, P4O6. So the rule for oxygen, again, is minus 2. Um, phosphorus, we don't know, so we'll call it x. And overall, the net charge is 0. So 4x, four because four, there's 4 phosphoruses, times x um, plus 6 times negative 2 equals 0. So this is negative 12. So 4x minus 12 equals 0. So x must equal positive 3. So that means each phosphorus here is a positive 3 charge. OK, so phosphorus is a positive 3. And oxygen is a minus 2. OK, last one that I'll do, and then you guys are in charge of D, E, and F. So overall on this compound, you know, I just came across the uh, exception I was looking for. So the other exception is if fluorine or oxygen is bound to another halogen. OK, so that's going to come up actually on C. So this one's a minus 2. And here we have a halogen, but it's bound with oxygen, so it's not minus 1. So we have to figure out what it is. It's, we'll call it x. And there's only one chlorine. So 1x um, minus 2 equals negative 1. So overall, this carries this uh, hypochlorite ion, carries a minus 1 charge. So then x must equal um, positive 1. So the chlorine is a plus one, the oxygen is a minus two. Okay, so let's see what you guys can get for D, E, and F.